Hello Team SNG and welcome to this week's update. Uh, welcome everyone to 2014. Uh, my name is Jim Radijak and I am the Vice President of Sales for SNG Carpets. Uh, I know we have a lot of new teammates out there that are uh, new to SNG in the last few weeks so uh, thanks for checking in on the videos. I try to post these oh, two or three times a month just to kind of give you an update of what's going on with the company and uh, a little talk a little about product sales and just changes that are going on in general. So welcome and thanks for checking out the videos. First off, with 2014 we always have our annual what we call kickoff meeting. Uh, the first kickoff meeting is going to happen next Sunday, January 26th, and that'll be for all three Northern California stores. So the Rockland store, Elk Grove store, and Rancher Cordova store, they're meeting here on Sunday at 9.30, and by here I mean the, the Rancher Cordova store. Uh, and the guys will do uh, all the stuff we want you to inform you about and some of the new and exciting things that'll be coming down this way for 2014. The official kickoff meetings are happening in the Bay Area. On February 3rd, it's a Monday, the Monday after Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, Pleasanton store is starting at 7.15 in the morning. And then the Bay Area stores, San Jose, um, Elmaden, I should say, and Santa Clara are doing theirs that Monday night at 6.15. So I look forward to seeing you all there and introducing myself. If I haven't met you yet, but uh, hopefully you'll be at the kickoff meeting and I'll get to shake hands and meet you personally at those. Got some really good stuff going on. Um, first off, I want to talk about today's customer and how that customer has changed over the years. When I was on the floor selling, you know, buying floor covering was really kind of a blind item. People only bought floors once every 10, 12, 15, sometimes even 20 years. And there's so many changes and things going on. The customer walked in, they were confused, there's no place to get information. Uh, they'd go to 10 different stores and hear 10 different stories. Well, it's really not that way anymore because of the internet, social media, uh, you know, you name it, and if you Google it, you can find information about it. What's that mean to you? It means that the consumer walking through our front doors today is better prepared, better educated, knows more about floor covering than ever before. What's that mean to you as a salesperson? That means if you're not doing your homework, if you're not watching YouTube videos at night, if you're not Googling how carpets made, if you're not going to the Armstrong website or Mannington websites or studying different um, websites of our competitors, be it um, Empire or Carpeterias or Conklin Brothers or Carpet One Stores, whoever it is, if you're not doing your homework, you're falling behind. You're not going to know as much as what the consumer knows who walks in the front door. And as you know, in order for you to be a successful salesperson, you have to be an authority. You have to be an expert on the subject matter. All it takes is an impression by a consumer that you don't know what's going on in the industry. And boy, it makes it really difficult for you to overcome that hill. Okay, So being prepared, taking the time to learn, to focus, to know that things are changing in the industry, finding it online, researching, being motivated to do it, is key in your success. The other thing we've talked about in the past is being prepared as far as a salesman. Okay, And when I say salesman, I'm talking about salesmanship. Now, a lot of people, you've heard before, and they say there's an art to sales. Well, when you use the word art and art to sales, that means it's something that can be, um, it's an intangible. It means like it's like a God-gifted uh, talent or ability. And some people are maybe are a little bit more social than others or more comfortable talking in public or talking to other people than others. But believe me, sales is a skill. It can be taught. It can be learned. You can improve on it no matter how good you are. It is a skill. There is a, a, a method to the madness when it comes to sales. It's like learning your times tables for the first time. You know, two times two is always going to equal four. We know if we set up more estimates, we sell more product. And I've, you know, kind of shortening it. And I say, your goal when someone walks in the store is always to get that estimate set up. And that is true because over the last 64 years, 65 years you've been in business now, we know that two times two is going to equal four. You set up more estimates, you're going to sell more. So that's always our number one goal is get into the customer's house. But where I was going, got off on a little sidetrack, is sales training. This is our playbook. 
and I'm sure by now you've all seen it, you've hopefully read it at least once, twice, three times. This is something that we're even going to dive into more during the year 2014 than we ever have before. Now again, I know we have a lot of new staff members, we're expecting a lot of growth and a lot of new customers coming in this year, so you have to be prepared. Your store manager, your um, fellow flooring consultants, uh, me, vice president of sales, we don't have enough time in the day to sit down with you and read this book with you or to go over it. It's going to take in your desire, your motivation, you finding time to do it on your own. Okay, To work here, to do really well, you got to be self-motivated. you got to be willing to put the time in. And that's what I'm telling you right now at the beginning of the year because we're going to do more training out of that book. We're going to be testing you. We're going to be role-playing. We're going to expect you to know the contents of this book and be able to not only know it, but be able to reiterate it and put it into a formal sales presentation. Okay, This is the year of S&G. This is where we're, we're, we're raising our game to be better than everybody else. Like I mentioned earlier, the customer knows more, the customer expects more, and it's up to you to be able to deliver more. And just be going along saying, well, you know, I learned that three years ago, or that's the way I've been doing it for the last five years or ten years. It's not good enough anymore because the customer is better. The customer is more sophisticated. The customer is more knowledgeable. So the only way for you to keep up is to study at home, study at home, study at home. Okay? Now, this is all leading up to the, the, the big point of my week's presentation. I got notified today that we're getting a lot of viruses on the computer. And the viruses are coming from people going to... Uh, websites that we shouldn't be going to on the company property, on the company computers. So I know on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, maybe it's slow. Maybe it's slow on Saturday or Sunday, or you have an extra few minutes. And instead of going to the Armstrong website or watching a YouTube video on how, you know, carpets installed or something like that, people are going to other websites and we're getting viruses on the computer. Okay? It's slowing down the computers, which is a drag, but more importantly, it's wasting your time, the time that we're paying you for, or wasting your opportunity to become better at your trade or at your craft or at your job. Okay? So, please do not spend time researching the internet on sports scores. Do not spend time on the dating websites. Okay? We get a lot of those. The dating websites are uh, extremely good at planning viruses as well as like Facebook and things like that. Okay, We're paying you to do a job. I'm asking you to be on the honor system and do that job uh, for two reasons. One, it's going to make you better, which is going to make you more money. And two, it's not going to slow down our computers, which is going to save time and be better for everybody. So please don't waste your time going to those other websites. Um, it tells me that we all have enough time to study the books, to go to the manufacturer websites to get proper training if we have enough time to be going to these websites that we shouldn't be visiting. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, I know the bulk of this presentation or this week's update was dedicated to that, but I want to make that perfectly clear since we have so many new employees that on your free time, okay, um, and free time I'm talking about when you're at work, you're on the clock, and you're not busy with a customer in front of you or you're not returning phone calls, Take that precious time to improve yourself, okay? Learn more. Study more. Don't waste it on useless stuff, okay? One, we don't want you on the computers doing that, and two, it's a waste of your time, and we're paying you not to do that. We're paying you to learn, to sell, to be as professional as you can be, and those other things just don't cut it. So, uh, again... Okay, I appreciate you doing that. So, hey guys, uh, enjoy your kickoff meetings coming up in the next week or so. Uh, I'll be attending all of them along with the other two members of the executive committee, Roger Radijak and Fernando Jacobo. Uh, we're looking forward to meeting you all and welcoming you to S&G in person. So, guys, thanks for the hard work. We're halfway through the month. Let's bring it home strong. We started off a little slow the first couple weeks, but I'm seeing the momentum build. So, I'm really optimistic that we'll hit a home run in the month of January, and that you all have a shot at getting that $450 monthly team bonus. Remember, it increased by $100 this year, so uh, hopefully you can all hit that and make some extra dough for yourselves. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you around the stores. Bye-bye.